Happy Easter, boys and girls, or maybe more appropriately for us Christians, Happy Resurrection Day. I guess you're excited that it's Easter and there's probably a lot of fun things you're looking forward to. I bet maybe some candy and maybe an Easter egg hunt. But today I'm going to tell you the most exciting part about Easter is that Jesus is alive. Our verse today comes from the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me and hears when I pray and all of his stories are true. I love my Bible. It's special to me, just like a friend that I see every day. So now I'll be quiet and my heart will be still and I'll listen to what God has to say. Our verse today is Jesus is risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. We're going to sing it to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Jesus is risen from the dead, from the dead, from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. Do you think you could do that with me, boys and girls? Let's all try it together. Jesus is risen from the dead, from the dead, from the dead. Jesus is risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. Wow, that was really good. I wish I could hear you all singing at home. So that is what our story is about today. Look what I have here. Where do flowers grow? Did somebody say a garden? Yes, and what other things can we find in a garden? I bet you have some good answers. And today, we're going to hear a story about what happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus and his disciples were in the Garden of Gethsemane, and they were praying. Jesus was praying because he knew his time was near. His, his disciple friends kept falling asleep, and Jesus would wake them and remind them to keep praying. But while they were praying, some soldiers came into the garden and they went right to Jesus. And Jesus was not afraid because he knew this was part of God's plan. And the soldiers came and they arrested Jesus. But he went right along with them and he, fought, he followed them to the jail. People loved Jesus very much, but there were some people that didn't like Jesus. In fact, they hated Jesus so much that they wanted to kill him. So they all, they decided, the angry people decided to kill Jesus and they put him on a cross. It was a very sad day and the disciples were very sad. They didn't understand that this was part of God's plan. So it was a very sad, dark day when Jesus died. Three days later, the women were coming to visit Jesus in the tomb. They had laid his body in this tomb. It is like a, it's kind of like a cave, like a hole in the wall where they put Jesus's body and they put two guards outside to keep guard that nobody would steal it. And then they rolled a rock in front of the door. Let me stay. There it is, kind of. In front of the door so that nobody could get in and nobody could get out. And in the morning, Jesus' friends, two women, they were coming to visit Jesus at the tomb. They were walking along, and when they got there, what did they see? But two angels dressed in bright white clothing. They were glowing like lightning. They were so bright, and it stunned the women. They said, they didn't know what to say. They just sat there in fear, and the angel said, who you are looking for, Jesus, is not here. He is risen, just as he said. And the women, they were so overcome with emotion. They were happy. They were sad. They were fearful. They were overjoyed. They didn't know what to feel because Jesus was not there. But they thought, we need to go and tell everyone that Jesus isn't there, but he is alive. So they ran away. And on the, on the road to going to tell everyone that Jesus was alive, who did they run into? 
but Jesus himself. And many people saw Jesus when he came back to life. At one time, 500 people saw Jesus after his resurrection. And also all his disciple friends saw him. Many people saw Jesus after he came back to life. So in our story today, we need to thank God that, Jesus, that God brought Jesus back to life. And also, we can be thankful today that he is alive. Can we say our verse together again? One more time. We're going to try singing it again. Jesus has risen from the dead, from the dead, from the dead. Jesus has risen from the dead. Matthew 28, verse 7. Very good. I hope you will remember that verse in the following week. Now I have some ideas of some things that we might want to try at home because we're not here to do these fun activities. So we could do a craft with, who can tell me what this is? If you said cross, you are right. I bet you've seen a cross before, either at Sunday school or at church, or maybe your mom has one that she wears around her neck. The cross was a symbol, was not a very good symbol in the Roman culture. It was actually a very evil symbol because it represented death. But for us as Christians, it represents eternal life with Jesus forever. So for us, it's a very happy symbol. And I thought if you cut out a cross out of paper, just like this one, and you could decorate it either with stickers or color with markers, whatever you'd like to make it look pretty, you could draw some flowers, whatever you'd like. And then you could write out the verse, possibly, with help from your mom and dad. It is Jesus has risen from the dead, Matthew 28, verse 7. You could write that out and put it on the cross. Then maybe you could hang it on your refrigerator or in your bedroom, somewhere like that. Anyway, that's a craft idea. And another thing I was thinking that might be fun for you to do is you could take a nature walk. Because today we talked about a garden where Jesus well, first the garden where he was arrested, but he was also buried in a garden in his tomb. And some of the things that you would find in a garden. So on your nature walk, you could pick up things like rocks or flowers or whatever you would like that you think you would find in a garden. That might be a fun thing to do with your family this week. I'm so sad that we can't see you guys face to face. Yeah, I really wish you guys could be here. But since we can't be here today, I thought that I would share one of my favorite stories with you guys. All right, you guys ready? It's called The Lost Sheep. Here's the story. Here is a farmer. He has a hundred sheep. He's counting them. One of his sheep is missing. Oh dear, where has it gone? Is it in the hen house? No. Is it under the hedge? No, it's lost. All day the farmer looks for his sheep. He climbs up hills and scrambles over the rocks. He crawls through the bramble bushes. The thorns scratch him, but he won't give up. He is tired and hungry. His feet ache but he won't give up. At last, the farmer sees his sheep. It's fallen in the river. The farmer dives into the water. Splash, he rescues the sheep. Hooray, the farmer has found his sheep. Let's all have a party. Jesus says, God is like the farmer. He loves us just like the farmer loves his sheep. All right, guys, remember, God loves you. And we love you, too. We miss you so much. And we hope to see you soon. Bye! Skitter, what happened to you? Oh. I was playing in the trees. Um, I think there is more leaf on my back. Oh, oh yeah, you go in there. Can you get it? Oh. Sure. So you were playing in the trees? Yes, I love, love, love playing in the trees, especially when the leaves are back. 
When they're back, what do you mean? Right before winter, all the leaves fall, fall, fall off the trees. Yes, they do. Well, I think the trees look really sad without their leaves. But every winter, I think that maybe the tree died. But then, in the spring, they grow, grow, grow back. Spring is always fun because everything comes alive again. The flowers grow, the grass grows, and the leaves grow, and then that means bananas too. You sure do like bananas, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. And when the leaves grow back on the trees, I can play, play, play in them again. I like to play all sorts of games with my friends, like hide and seek. That sounds like lots of fun. Yes, it is. Spring, spring, spring is wonderful. I have to agree with you, Skitter. Spring is a wonderful time of year. But you know why I like spring? Why? We celebrate Easter in the spring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sounds like fun. What is Easter? Easter is the time we celebrate the good news that Jesus is alive. The Bible tells us that Jesus died on the cross, but three days later, he, he rose from the dead. Jesus is alive? Yes, Jesus is alive. That's way, way, way more exciting than leaves coming back on the trees. You're right, Skitter. Bye. See you later. Bye. Guys, we're here with another joke. Um, well, I'm not sure it's, it's funny. Are you sure you want to tell it to me real quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a funny one. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cow says. Cow says who? No, silly. Cow say moo. Boys and girls, I hope and pray that your Easter is a very special day. I hope you get to spend lots of time with your family. Mr. Kevin and I miss you at the 9 o'clock service, and I'm sure Miss Stacy misses you at the 11 o'clock service, if that's the service you come to. Now let's do one more finger play before we say goodbye. Warm up your fingers, okay? Easter is a happy time. All the flowers are growing. Jesus died and rose again. His Father's love is showing. See how we made a cross? That's because Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. And we miss you, and we love you, and remember, Jesus loves you the most. Bye. Bye.